I'm still looking for the map button. Hey, the closest I come is that I can, uh, can clear these. And uh, then I can see I am at Fort Ware. Press spacebar. Press this again. Apparently. So if I click this. Yes, the call. And then I just straight go into him. What's my count location? Nothing right now. Nothing right now. So maybe I don't have a map. Maybe we're gonna live without a map. But I can hear crying room and where is Where's the crying come from? <laughs> What's but you Hello Emerald. Yay. Hello. Hello. Hello, uh Emara. Emara. I was just admiring your work. Thank you. I call it the world of Pern Tapestry. When it's finished, it will show the whole of Pern in fine detail. That's fascinating. Very beautiful. In order to complete it, I need someone very reliable to gather information for me. Someone whose reputation precedes them. Gonna play some games. Here to lose money to this gambling fool. Aye, and a share of my wits too, knowing the way he plays. <laughs> Are you calling me a cheat? No, just a man who's unreasonably lucky with dice. I should leave you something because he supports support. A... I suppose, although I think the more traditional among us will not like what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some room there. Of course. Hello. It's Fippin. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Me. I wanted to talk for a while. I suppose you've heard about this meeting with Sabor. As is every writer, I presume. I think it's disgraceful that we have to lower ourselves to look for inferior stock in the holds. It is breaking tradition. If breaking tradition allows us to have a new werewoman and save the future of our dragons, then so be it. But the were has always bred people for impression. Especially the werewoman. Why are you so afraid of change? Do you think that now the holds and halls have little use for us, they will begin to question our purpose? Never. The Dragon Riders are the only reason their homes have not been razed to the ground and their flesh seared from their bones. And they should be grateful? They do provide for us after all. It's a fair exchange. Wary teeth, man. The Riders are superior in every respect. Apart from some idiot dreams like Nueth. There are some characters out for his blood after his escapade last night. No one seems to be able to tell me what he did. I think Sabor may have something to say on the matter. Shells, man. Sabor is a fool, as are most of the riders here. Always talking about how things must change with the times. Well, I'm too long in the tooth to start thinking differently. The current ways have lasted for hundreds of turns for a good reason. They won't change now. You'll see. Whatever you say, Faben. I can see there's no point in arguing with you. I'll be there as soon as I've finished reading these ballads. Actually, Vahul said he would lend me one of his, but he hasn't got around to it. Uh, if you see him, could you get it for me? Yes, of course I could. But I got more knowledge. Uh, so let's go there. Okay, so now we have been in the uh, gambling place. Let's uh, try to go over here. Hello. Lisa. <laughs> Women Dragon Good Rider. Morning, you looked like you were having fun last night. Mm -hmm. 
I was what little I can remember of it. Nalaya would be pleased to know we celebrated her life so vigorously. And some more vigorously than others. You mean Neff? He made a proper display of himself, so I hear. I didn't see anything but rumors of flying this morning about him and one of the kitchen staff. What do you mean? Never mind that now. I'm glad you've arrived, Biko. I found this book in the gambling hall last night, and I don't quite know what to do with it. I don't know who it belongs to. I think I know. Locke in the librarian has lost his diary. It may belong to him. Would you take it to him, Deco? I have to oil that off. Of course. Thanks, Deco. So the librarian. Always oiling your dragons. Because the skin itches. Deco? Deco? Do you know what day it is? The same day it was when you found me that pearl last term. Could be, Decor, could be. But don't worry yourself with it. I'm sure you have more important things on your mind. Mm. Ugh. Remember the little trouble, trouble I caused. Okay, love. Let's go this way. We, we're gonna take them all. Nith. Hello, Nith. Hi. Good morning, Decor. Good morning. I trust you had a good night last night. Don't start, Nith. I've had enough from Zenth. Anyway, I heard that your night was better than mine. I'm so embarrassed, Decor. The news must be all round the weir by now. Pretty much. <laughs> But no one seems to be able to tell me what you did. Well, it's rather a sorry affair. Azoth is ready to mate, and we green riders have a tendency to... How shall I put it? Become on edge when our dragons are ready to fly. And you were on edge last night? So much so that between Azoth and the Bend and Wine, I think I may have become a bit too forceful in an argument. How forceful? I think I drew my knife on someone. But I can't remember who. By the first egg, what are you going to do? Well, I would apologize, but I don't know who to apologize to. And I'm afraid to go out of my weir for fear of a dagger in the back. Do you think you could see your way to finding out who it was and apologize on my behalf? I'll ask well, around for you. I'm sure it was unintentional. I'll ask around for you. Thank you, Decor. You do me a great honor. So, there's this meeting, oh, and then everything continues. So, I guess that if we look, this is up, we're not gonna go up. This is a different up. There we go, there is the crying woman, hello. Oh, a dragon rider. A dragon rider. It's my boy, Jim. He's been gone all night and I'm worried out of my mind. Where was he seen last? He went to the wearable last night to play with Jax and the other children, but never came back. I better go see this if I can find him. Oh, he's probably fine. You know what kids are like. I think I can find him. My husband, Moolin, is already out looking. 
If you see him, he may be able to help. <laughs> and everything becomes better. Right, wait, wait, wait. I need to go into into your premises. Camera. So the camera haven't detected that they were there. So now it detects it. Can I then go in there? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's search the premises. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay. Let's go here. No. Let's go up there. This is not up there. What is this wall? Hello. Vchul. Hello. Vchul. Good morning, Decor. Vahal. I didn't see you at Nalaya's farewell last night. I was on watch. As a consequence, I am exhausted beyond measure. I take it you had heard about our wing leader calling a meeting. Of course, and I look forward to it, but first I must rest. And I don't suppose you've heard anything about Naeth either. Bits of things passed to Piath from other dragons. I know that Azoth is not happy with Naeth. It is worrying when a dragon dislikes its rider. I'm sure it's only temporary. Perhaps you please don't really need to move. Of course. Actually, are you heading down to Fabenswear? If you are, as I am utterly spent, would you give this skin to him? He and I were talking at great length the other evening about some of the great ballads, and he requested some of them from me. I'm sure I bump into him at some point. Thanks, Dakota. My duty to you. Yes, if someone think. could wake me once the meeting starts, I would appreciate it. We do that. And then he goes to bed. Me. Always say that. Okay, so first of all, he wants us to go to Fabin. This is the kitchen. Just so you know. Um, so let's go to Vibben. Uh, Vibben, where's the guy? This is over there. You hear my headphones. So, the, the Vibben is the guy living here. Thank you, camera angles. So, we can go into Vibben here. Ah! He lives in here. Hey, Vibben. Be there as soon as I've finished reading these ballads. Actually, Vahul said he would lend me one of his, but he hasn't got around to it. Uh, if you see him, could you get it for me? Here's that ballad you requested. Oh, I see. Well, give it here, lad. Don't dally. <laughs> right. Thanks. You can go now. Item lost. <laughs> but it. I gained reputation, and that's important, right? The, 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 the better reputation is shit you get, the better. Um, so I want to go up to the kitchen. Hello. Okay, so there was something. Hello. My duty to you, sir. Greetings, Rawr. I hope you don't mind me saying so, sir. But you should stay away from Tom Keating today. He's in a right foul mood. Has someone insulted his food again? Yes, sir. And you know how protective Tom is over his food. It is good for a man to take pride in his work. Surely it is. And it only takes a small insult from a green rider to upset old Tom. Listen to me. My apologies. I, I've spoken out of turn. I, I must get back to work. I'm really happy for you. Hello, Tom. I 
suppose you're here to insult my breakfast spread. Of course. Meat rolls not good enough for you, eh? I have no quarrel with you, Tom. Your food has always been of the highest quality. Tell that to your arrogant friend, Nerf. Too much salt here. This class too bitter. The herd beast tastes rancid. It nearly came to blows. You have to understand, Neth's green is ready to mate, and that sets a rider on edge. I've spoken to him earlier, and he deeply regrets what he's done. But he attacked me! For which he is truly sorry. He didn't mean what he said. Ah, uh, well, maybe he had a point about the herd beast tasting off. The last lot was a feeble-looking bunch. So he's forgiven? For the time being. But if he ever does it again, I'll hang his hide out to dry. I'll pass the message on. Talking of passing messages, if you're going to Fort Hold in the near future, I've got an errand I'd like you to run. Seeing as I forgave your friend and all, I figure you dragon riders owe me a favor. Find out if you're going to Fort Hold and then come and see me. Okay. So... Roma. Oh, Dakar, come to help me with my hatching ceremony preparations. We need a meal big enough for a dragon. A dragon-sized meal um, sounds good, Roma. What do you want from me? A dragon-sized meal? Hmm, sounds good, Roma. What do you want from me? What do I want? Why, ingredients to call ingredients. Ingredients. That's what I said. Ingredients. Lots of them. Here's the list. You'd better write this down. Don't want you bring back the wrong things now, do we? I will write them in my journal, Roma, but I'm sure I can remember them. <laughs> That's the spirit, lad. Well, for starters, I need nettle weed, feather fern, and a whole bundle of flax. Well, that's not too bad. My, you're funny to call. I also need some old, old wine of at least 60 turns. Red wine, that is. Oh, crikey. Is that all? No, that's not all. You must also find me four tunnel snake eggs and um, a two, yes, two nice big wary eggs for old Roma. Wary eggs? Indeed, that should be about it. Now you be off now and let me cook. Return here if you find any of those ingredients. But remember, we have some time yet before the ceremony, so you make sure you get all those other more important things done first. <laughs> And then there's the boy, Ulrich. Morning, Decor. What it will be this morning? I need something for this head of mine. Too much wine, eh? I've just the thing. My own personal cure. What's in it? Nothing dangerous, I hope. You'll have to wait and see. Cue for pitches. I'm hungry. What do you have to eat? We have one pie left and a few meat rolls and some fresh fruit. I go for the meat rolls. Meat rolls it is. Yeah. I can't give you any more, or there'll be none left for anyone else. I hope that it wasn't a quest to get something special. I think that you need the meat rolls in order to get some health back when you take damage. At least I hope that's how it is. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna go up there again. I remember something.
Hello. Greetings, Decor. How are you this morning? A little fragile after Nalaya's wake. And how is Marath, our gold? Rumor is she may fly her clutch. Morath is melancholy, yes, but Zenth has not mentioned anything. It is unheard of for a gold to leave a clutch. Well, I suppose you'd know. How goes it with the tide? The bending wine that came in yesterday was a welcome addition. I couldn't get it off the cart quick enough. Aye, the tides seem in order, although there is a great shortage of ores in this last shipment. As long as we have enough food for the cold, the ores can go hang. But it's not like the master miner to leave us short. I'll have to ask the trader that brought it in. Let's try to... No, it's level up. Yay! There's nothing here? Nothing there? There's nothing there? Oh! <laughs> See that sc screen shaking? Okay. Hmm. There's nothing over on this side. Oh, there it is. Hello. This is one of the guys that we need. Hello, Talor. Rumor has it we're looking at <coughs> the holds for impression candidates. What's wrong with the werefolk? I'm pleased <laughs> the thread is waning. I'm not sure I could take much more combat. Ooh, my throbbing ear. What's the matter? Chef Tom's got a right old temper on him today. I dropped a tray and he belted me. I'm surprised he didn't take my head clean off. That's unusual for Tom to be in a bad mood. Apparently, one of the green riders, don't recall his name, insulted all of the food that Tom laid out for Nalaya's wake last night. It nearly ended up in a fight. I think I'll need stitches. And look! I've got to clear all this mess up from last night or I'll get another thick ear. You don't want one of these jars, do you? Tom says they should be thrown out, but I think you might find a use of it. An empty jar. Okay. Then we go down, then we talk to... Yes, and then we go down, then we talk to the um, to the idiot who uh, is a green rider sitting not over there, but over here? Here? No? Where's the green rider? Hmm. Currently I would love to have a map. Hello. But, as you can see, the map is bucked. Like, I can't choose it. R really want to. Some dice guys there. In here? Really nice to have a map. Nothing here. Um Okay. There's nothing over there. They are a, they they are playing dice. Okay. So these two guys are playing dice. Saloon. Hello Saloon. I hear Sabor is calling a meeting. Will you be there? Of course. I suppose I'll have to attend as well. Although I can't stand to be in the same room as the man. He sickens me. Such bitterness is not good for the wing salon. You should curb your anger. I lost my eye down to that fool's incompetent orders. He does not know how to control his wing during thread battle. And one day I'll make him regret what he did to me. Thread is an unpredictable foe. I have no love for Sabor either, but you cannot blame him for Thread. 
Well, he's a lot nearer than the Red Star. And to have that blackguard Catan take my place as Wing Second just because they believe I am no longer suitable for duty. Apparently, my eyesight affects my ability to fight. Salone, why are you so angry? I apologize. I suppose Nalaya's death was a bigger blow than I first assumed. And with Naeth's timely performance last night. <clears throat> yes, I've spoken to him about that. Uh, I'll leave you for the time being. You look like you need to be alone. I'll see you at the meeting. Yes, you will. Nice. I don't have a journal. Okay, let's go in here. The guy that we are looking for is not in here. Okay. Uh, let's go in here. They might be at the meeting. Hello, that is Neth. The call. What news? Tom. The cook. Oh, this is some sort of bad dream. He'll poison my Kla for sure. Fret not, my friend. The air is clear, and your Kla will be poison free. Although you've done his herd beast a great disservice. The bubbly pies were fine. It was the herd beast that tasted foul. Did you not taste it yourself? Bitter to the bone. Bend in wine took away most of the taste, I'm afraid. Well, thank you, Decor. I suppose I'd better go and apologize myself. Oh, by the way, I have some news for you. Oh, yes. Azoth thinks she may have found a potential weir woman within the weir. She seems to be a little more sensitive than the other greens. Really? Who? Ramala Kendrick, the craftsman's daughter. She is out of the weir for the next couple of days, but perhaps you could talk to her when she returns. It would be good to find a new weir woman within the weir. <laughs> Tradition, tradition, tradition. Ain't it stupid? But yeah, okay. That is actually mostly what what the uh, what the story is about. Uh, I hope that you really enjoyed this uh, this episode. Um, and uh, I will be back with more Dragon Riders of Pern Chronicle uh, of Pern or whatever um, <laughs> next time. So until we see each other next time.